Hello folks, welcome to this series of AWS services. We are here talking about networking and VPC related concepts. In the last video, we talked about VPC peering, where we had two VPCs and we connected them both by using peering connection. Now here in this video, we are going to talk about VPN connections. Now VPN connections are used when you have to connect your customer data center or you can call it on-premise data center to the cloud. So whenever you have to connect your VPC which is situated on the AWS cloud and you have to connect to your data center which is there in on-premises, you would need VPN connection. So VPN connection supports IPsec protocol which means any communication between your data center and VPC passes through these IPsec tunnels which makes it very secure. So for this communication between the data center and the VPC, VPN tunnels are created which are secured by IPsec and this tunnel gets created between the customer gateway on the on-premise data center side and VPC gateway which is on the VPC side, the cloud side. So that means before creating the VPN connection, we need to have VPC gateway attached with the VPC and the customer gateway needs to be maintained on the customer data center side which we call on-premise data center. So keep in mind that there is no internet gateway maintained here for this kind of traffic, which is between your on-premise data center and the VPC on cloud, you need VPC gateway and customer gateway and not internet gateway. You can see that by using VPN connections, it looks like you are just extending your on-premise data center to the cloud. The VPC would become more integrated with your on-premise data center and any communication between the VPN and the VPC would be more like a private traffic. Because of the VPN tunnel and the IPsec which is protecting it, you can use this cloud as the extended data center of yours. So other than creating a VPC gateway, we also need to customize our route tables. So in the route tables, we need to add a route towards the VPC gateway whenever the destination is on-premise data center. So for all the IP address ranges in your on-premise data center, we need to create a route on the route tables within VPC so that the traffic goes and follows VPC gateway. So this is how it will look like once you have got your data center integrated with the VPC. Your router would be routing the traffic towards the VPC gateway because now, now you've got new route towards your VPC gateway. And the VPC gateway would be connected to the customer gateway via the VPN connection. The customer gateway would be the part of your corporate network or your on-premise data center. So even, even if you've got private subnets on your VPC, they can be directly connected to your corporate network or your corporate data center using VPC gateway, VPN connection, and the customer gateway. And of course, as we talked about earlier as well, that we need to provide proper route in the route table. That's absolutely necessary. So again, VPC gateway and the VPN connections are fully managed by AWS. So you don't have to think about their scalability or their availability. So now if you go to our VPC dashboard, we can see here about VPN connection. We have got a virtual private gateway or we also call it VPC gateway and we've got VPN connection and then we have got customer gateway. So you can create a customer gateway where you just need to give the user defined name, the kind of routing, whether it's a dynamic or static. Then you have to supply an IP address, which is static and it has to be gateways address of your corporate network. So this is the part which is directly attached towards our corporate network, as you can see in the picture. Then you've got virtual gateway. This gateway is towards our VPC. So you can create virtual private gateway. So this is a virtual device on the Amazon side, the cloud side, and this is one of the endpoint of our VPN tunnel. So this also needs an ASN, which is required for BGP protocol, border gateway protocol. You can give your custom ASN number, or you can give the one which is provided by Amazon. So here we just need to give it a name and the ASN. That's all. Now, if you go to VPN connection, then when you create a VPN connection, you need to provide both the ends of the VPN connection. So here we have to provide virtual private gateway, which if you have created, it will be showing into this dropdown. And then we also need to select the customer gateway, which is towards the corporate network. So if you create the customer gateway, we'll see all of that in this dropdown list. Then you can select what kind of routing you want. You want dynamic routing or the static routing. For the dynamic routing, border gateway protocol or the BGP comes into the picture, which is basically more robust. And then you have to give various tunnel options. 
This is about the VPN tunnel that gets created between the VPC gateway and the customer gateway. So between your VPC and your corporate network. So ultimately this will create an architecture that will look something like this. So VPC gateways are highly available, but you can create multiple customer gateways and then create multiple tunnels from your VPC gateway to various customer gateways for high availability on the customer gateway side. So you can have a redundant connection, something like this. The same VPC gateway can be connected to multiple customer gateways. And then you can say for the maintenance, you can use one of the customer gateway. And in that case, the other customer gateway would be active and then you can switch through it. So for high availability, you might want to create redundant VPN connections between your corporate network and your VPC cloud. If you've got multiple corporate data centers across various regions, and if you've connected all those corporate data centers to your VPC through these VPN tunnels, then you can even communicate between various your corporate data centers along with your VPC. So for example, if you've got a corporate data center in New York, in Los Angeles, and then in Miami, if all of them are connected through a VPC gateway, which is on cloud, and there is a established VPN tunnels with each of these corporate data centers, then these corporate networks can communicate with each other as well. So this is a concept of VPN cloud hub. So now we have got a better picture about the hybrid network, how to integrate our VPCs with our corporate data center. So you can close this lesson here. If you've got any other query, you can just put it into the discussion box and we'll get back to you. See you soon in the next video. Thank you for watching.